guys, it's the morning of, and we are here at Culture Con, and they are still getting set up. And we'll be checking in at 8 o'clock, and the vendors are getting set up, so we're really excited. All kinds of goodies everywhere, you guys. Check it out. We got the glitter guy over here. Hey, sir. All the good stuff everywhere. Look at all that fancy glitter. Class is getting set up. Look at all those turners, you guys. Check it out. And we got another class in here. We like some fun stuff gonna happen in this building today. So this piece was a uh, class example of 3D Crete and what you can do with it. Um, I just thought it was so neat I needed to take a video so I can remember. I um, love how she got all the, um, the textures and you, know, you can use it for a sand and leaf. You can create you know, the flowers and the trees and the limbs and all kinds of different uh, textures with that 3D Crete. I thought that was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. This, their chicken. Greek tacos were so amazing. Uh, so one of the booths had a make and take with the keychain, UV resin keychain. They had these little little stickers you could use and all the supplies. So that was kind of fun. And this was the tissue paper tumbler class that I got, and um, I just got on the Roy Cycle Design Team. They create these beautiful pieces of thick tissue paper for decoupage and so I had to take this class to try this technique there's mine right there and looking you put this tissue paper on and after it's dry then you can put your layer of resin on and this class I wish I had taken but it's I don't I didn't take it but it's such a neat technique using the mylar to create a little uh, beach cave with that um, 3d Crete we went to Hugo's Bar and Grill for burgers. Oh my gosh, they are the best hamburgers you will ever eat in your entire life. Hugo's in Fayetteville. They are just delicious, but pretty much everything on their menu is really good. Even their Cosmos. I love their Cosmos. They're very strong, but they're really good. These are all some great new friends that I made. Um, just such a neat opportunity to meet people from all over. Um, so it was just such a neat experience to make new friends and get inspired and learn all kinds of new techniques and get to use new products. It just was such a neat experience and CCDIY did such a great job. Um, this was the after party. Um, uh, we did a, a swap where we each made a homemade gift for each other and this is me opening the one that Cindy made for me. And just, I loved it. It was a beautiful tumbler, so gorgeous. And we just, we hugged it out and it was a great experience. So the next morning on Saturday, um, my first class was Mixed Media Techniques with Rick Cheadle. Um, very, very talented man. And um, it was just a 30 minute class at the beginning of the day, but learned a lot of neat stuff. And he really shared some cool knowledge in these little brochures will help us to remember some of the techniques he was talking about. Gorgeous artwork. He had a bunch of artwork there for sale. I was planning to buy one and just got so busy and then all, the next thing I knew everything was done and over and packed up. So I kind of missed out on the artwork. I really loved this owl. Wanted to get it. 
Um, I just got sidetracked. <laughs> uh, but gorgeous layers. I love all the layers that he did with this owl. And the surprise uh, technique he used at the end with uh, washable Crayola markers to add a little bit more dimension and color. And these are some of the technique cards that he had available so we could go up and check them out. And it kind of shows, you know, what he used for each technique card. And I just thought that was really neat. Um, some of the textures and colors he was able to get with the products that he was showing. And we had a little coaster that he had pre-printed and sealed. And then we took some alcohol ink just to learn, you know, how you can just really change something with some color. Thought that was really neat. And here he is with one of his pieces of art. Just gorgeous artwork and really nice, nice man to talk to. Um, this was uh, playing with some jelly plates. Um, he kind of did, had to do some quick, you know, demonstrations because the class was only 30 minutes. But um, he passed around uh, some of his things that he had made. Those are just, you know, pieces of paper that he uses in his art. And I just love this color and asked him if I could have it. And he said yes. And I thought that was really sweet. Um, and so I, I had him sign it because I'm going to stick it in my junk journal and I just I want to try to recreate that technique with those colors and you know see what I could do with that. I just thought that was so neat. So here's his signature. I thought that was pretty cool. Thanks Rick. And this is another class that I was in and this is a piece of her gorgeous artwork. Um, she was doing a beach class. So this next class was from the Glitter Guides, the Glitter Showdown, and we all got to glitter up some crazy random vintage finds that uh, Sarah's dad brought. thought that was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we all just sat down and threw some glitter on. It was such a fun class and got to just hang out with a new friend and just it it was so much fun we just were all so laughing know, and just throwing down some glitter it was just so cool <laughs> so this is what we both made um we were kind of having our own little craft off there um she did the blue which was gorgeous but we both planned to take that amber color off the glass and i think i'm going to add some uh alcohol inks to mine just to see what happens you know so it'll be a neat interesting project if i ever get to finish it <laughs> This was lunch on Saturday. We had a um, kind of great smoothie and a sandwich. It was really nice. So this was another class I did on Saturday, and this is uh, gradient glitters on tumblers. How to how to go from one color to another, and some really pretty glitters with the purple and the silver. And another class I did on Saturday was using water slides. I had never used water slides before in a resin project, so this was really neat and fun. And another class was the mixed media welcome sign. Thought that was fun. Learned how to paint our own cheetah print. And then this was the last class um, by Stephanie Roberts, and it was using candy and resin. It was more of a talk through the the techniques rather than a hands-on. A lot of the classes that I ended up taking were um, talk through the techniques, so I didn't have a lot of video of things that I actually made. But I learned a lot of cool tip, tips and tricks and a lot of I just new medias and how you know really got inspired to try some new things in resin. So you guys are gonna see that coming up on this channel in the next few months. I just got so much inspiration this day. And so like most of the way through her class, they announced they were doing their sale. Um, CCDIY took all the, the open products from all the classes. Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. I just wanted to show you some of the awesome deals that I got at CultureCon um, the last day after all the classes were done and they were cleaning up all the things. They were grabbing all of the products that were partially used or open and they brought them to this table and almost everything was a dollar a piece. Um, with the exception of the Rick's Mix, the large bottles were two dollars a piece, which is perfectly fine they're normally like $15 a piece and then these this set of silicone hadn't actually been opened yet and so they were selling that for $10 so I went ahead and got that but everything else everything else I paid a dollar a piece for 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.